Well, welcome to the Create Smarter Podcast by Five Tool Productions. I'm going to be the host for this episode, Kyle McNaught. Uh, we have a fun conversation ahead of us all about cinematic recaps and how do you make the power of a behind the scenes work for your audience. Today, I am joined by my co-host forever, my donut boy over there, Connor Clority, and our newest member, the first podcast, go easy on him, folks, Jake Steiner. How is it going, boys? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm realizing I, I wore a donut shirt for a podcast day. Didn't think that through. I wore a hat for a podcast day. I did too. Through. And I'm but not I, wearing a hat. But my hat doesn't even match my outfit. It's not bad. Yeah. A comment on uh, our socials. Do you like his fit? Uh, mm -hmm. Jake, uh, I know this is your first time on the podcast. Usually, we like to kind of talk about things that are happening in either digital media space, different videos, different things that caught our eyes, and really talk about the trends and really why we think that they're important and what, I mean, typically we work B2B, right? We work mm -hmm. with higher ed, we work with, I mean, we work with everyone. Call us if you want to talk, but we, we try to sit there and say like, well, what's going out there? What's the uh, kind of the general audience watching, paying attention to? What are trends that we like and how can we kind of, what, how should we break that down and think about it? So for this one, um, if you've been a listener of our podcast, I'm a avid college football fan. Love it. Uh, go Knowles, big Florida State fan. Really hope that when we record, the, when I watch this later, <laughs> Florida State hasn't lost a bunch of games and I'm miserable. Uh, but Florida State is a really cool thing. Uh, and college football in general is really cool because, I mean, at the end of the day, they have to recruit, right? They have to recruit players to want to come to their school. And, like, they're really kind of football teams in general and, and college sports in general has really a good finger on the pulse in terms of what – kind of the up and coming kind of audience and eyeballs and the, the younger audience likes and finds interesting. So forever college football was about graphics and how do you create these dope kind of holding out the football. It looks like it's on fire and yeah. stuff. So people can put it on their Instagrams and Twitters and things like that. But they've started to slowly, not slowly, but they started to put out these really cool things called cinematic recaps. Um, I'm sure there's other sports. I really didn't do any research to really know if there's <laughs> more of this stuff, but it's my little experience, Florida State puts out a cinematic recap after every game. It's really cool, wow. really dope. They're every using single one of the season? Every single wow. one of the season. It kind of, like, it shows you sort of what you sort of know happened, but as a kind of, I would say, super fan or more of that high, like the big, hey, I pay attention, I digest any content they put out. Mm -hmm. This is a really cool thing because I, I watch the game and then I get to sort of see the aftermath of what's going on behind the scenes. But yeah. it's done in a way that's really kind of, it tells a story. I know Jake, I've sent, uh, and Connor, I sent you both kind of some examples of what I've seen, but I mean, first of all, I know you're a big, uh, Liverpool fan, uh, 100%, Connor, 100%. Jake, I know you like the giants, so I'm sorry <laughs> for your loss. Uh, but have, have you guys off. seen this for your sports? Very have rough. you got new experience, experience, any, uh, any type of kind of cinematic recap or what's the behind the scenes for the kind of the sports you guys like to enjoy? Yeah, definitely. Um, I know one just you brought up Liverpool, my favorite soccer team, um, and they do one called Inside Anfield, which is Anfield's their home stadium. Um, and so, you know, after every single match, whether win, loss, tie, whatever, you're going to have some kind of cool um, with a behind the scenes type of hybrid, but it shows match footage. But what I like is, like you're saying, cinematic. I think that word's really important because you watch the match or you watch um, a football game, college football or, or professional and you get one, you know, a couple of views. You get the broadcast view. They might switch if it's a touchdown or something uh, climactic. It's like that 4K camera cool right, right. thing they're doing. Um, and that's it, really it. You get a couple zoomed into the maybe the crowd or the, or the sideline. You get a coach, you know, on the sidelines. But um, you don't get to see the behind the scenes. You don't get to see the lo half room, uh, sorry, halftime locker room talk. Um, and sometimes they include, you know, audio from the refs, audio from the mic'd up players, audio from the coaches, you know, on the sidelines. They'll show a play, you know, a foul or whatnot, cut to a dramatic angle that you didn't see during the live broadcast but they had people hire just to like you know just stay on the coach the whole time for yeah. the reactions um so long-winded way to say yeah um i think <laughs> it, it, it crosses sports um and it, it can bleed into other things that aren't sport related but it's, it's definitely that like you're saying behind the scenes the cinematic just grabs you and you watch the whole thing and you're like oh my god i, I watched the same game twice but right. the second version was way different well, it's, it's funny, and sorry to cut you off, Jake. It's it's you, you think of live sports, right? And like there isn't there's storytelling, like to a point, yeah. like you yeah. are doing that stuff. But there's also that like a lot of times people try to square peg round hole, right? Like mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna show these cool hype videos and stuff like that. But like you want the kind of the story that yeah, goes into sports. Yeah, you want the sports. drama. And if you just show the highlights right. of the big hits, that's it, that's whatever, right. you know. But if you're showing oh my god oh the tense and you add the music Gosh, and the yeah. kind of cooler cinematic angle it becomes a movie it becomes and a the, documentary yeah. the angles like yeah. the angles 100%. and the shots i mean those are yeah. such cool things in different ways to kind of tell 
the same thing that happened. It's the same event, right? Yeah, exactly. that, yeah. You watch the same game twice, and you're like, I don't even feel like I did. You know, I watched a a, a game and then the movie about the game. Right. You're like, that's yeah. what was going through my head when I was watching. It. That's exactly how I felt. Oh. You're like, I was sitting on the couch. I was yeah. just pounding beers and drinking. Eating I'm on chips. my phone half the time. Yeah. Oh, we scored. <laughs> yeah. But what about you? Any any of your teams kind of uh, what? Because you're a college athlete. You, Jake's one of the actual college athletes here. He played. <laughs> Uh, a Actually, little baseball did some stuff, but I mean, w- from your perspective, what? How do you kind of have you seen cinematic recaps? What? What about like for you? Yeah, so uh, a lot of times with the Giants, uh, I don't dare watch the same game twice. <laughs> um, so no, I, I actually I, I can't say outside of the games themselves i do enough like due diligence and like yeah actually go deeper into the teams. And again, I. I don't think the Giants produce a whole lot of highlight videos. <laughs> they produce a lot of memes. Though. Yeah, there are a lot of memes about the Giants. Memes. <laughs> the internet culture is great around them. Don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's usually Daniel Jones falling a couple inches short of the end zone. Like, it's never great. So, um, no, I definitely, uh, you know, when you do see these these college football highlights, it's like, oh my gosh. It's like gladiator stuff. Right. Like it is so awesome. Uh, it just makes you want to put pads on and, and get back <laughs> out on the field. Um, it just adds a whole nother element to your franchise and your and your fan base. It's just awesome. But yeah, I mean, you do bring up a great point because when Florida State sucked, I wasn't watching that. They were putting them out. And I was like, I, why do I want to relive yeah. this loss? I'm like, I had to watch it live. Why would I watch it there? So there is definitely times and stuff that makes sense but i mean listen you got to be authentic you have to put it out right you have to show i'm going to show warts and all because that really is helping you realize as a viewer like oh they're showing it all yeah like even during one of the really (laughs) tough times they're putting it out and like you got to kind of own up to that yeah the social media team isn't on a bandwagon you know? yeah. it's like they, they're like all right we're gonna show the wins the losses the b- good times it's and not taylor times. swift's pr team that's exactly. just trying to erase the whole jet <laughs> exactly. fuel thing yeah. that you know <laughs> uh it's really you got to put it all out there but it, i think it's it, it's really cool just the way that they're kind of telling the story i and to me like a we always kind of try to bring it back to like what can we think about right. shoots and stuff like that i mean behind the scenes is something we we tend to do here right we try to and both of you are excellent behind the scenes videographers you tell amazing stories and kind of you've been you, doing everything there <laughs> but like with that type of approach i mean what what stood out to you guys in some of the examples i sent you um that will include in the kind of the show notes of here some of the examples we're talking to but i mean is it the shot style is it the type of cameras they're using kind of what what's standing out to both of you just as kind of experts in the field I mean, I'll I'll go first and just say, the lack of sound is so much more powerful than we give it credit. I think definitely we're we're always trying to find out how we can fill uh, a space with audio. Um, but when you see it, you know the 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 reverse where you you have no audio and you're not hearing anything and you're just using one of your senses, it does create a completely different feel than anything you would have seen watching the game watching you know that 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 scoop and score yeah and it's just silent and it's just wow it's a different feeling so i think uh a lot to take out of it is is sound and how important music is how important live sound is and and that sound um just really important so i think that's something definitely i'd take away and i'm like i need to use this more as a technique like spatial audio how do you prepare yeah, like because absolutely. that's one of the experiences behind the scenes like especially i know you're speaking specifically to the florida state scoop and score when we beat clemson <laughs> but like they take out the sound and it really is you, you feel like you are that player you're kaylin deloach going in for that sack you know caleb uh club nick doesn't see you you're hitting them like the way that they're kind of building this thing and really yeah making an experience that you're like, oh yeah, like that is probably how it sounded. Like you didn't hear the roar of the crowd because yeah. you're just in you're this just moment. In. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, Connor, anything yeah. that stands out to you? I think I'll piggyback off of Jake because um, there was like a through line through all three of them. There are a lot of very similar similarities. But if you think about like, I just go back to the, the post-production. You talk about lack of sound or music or stuff. It's all something that, talking about watching the same game twice, you watch the game in one way, all you hear is the audio they give you, and that's, you know, programs we call it, like, that's it, you know? But they can take that after the fact and say, oh, you know what would make this 
uh, you know, tackle way more dramatic or way more cool, you know, like, um, is the post prod. You can add sound effects, music. You can add sounds that weren't there, right. you know, to make that cooler, you know, um, slow motion. Yeah, yeah. And I, what I, you know, I, I think I just harp on it, but the angles, just that, you know, switching out the cameras, having a 4K camera or whatnot on the sidelines, getting that tight shot of the, you know, the grimace of the face of the players or the, the stress of the coach or any of the crowd, you know. Um, and they try to do that during the game, but it's all kind of the same. So you're like, all right, you know, I know what universe I'm in. But once you see the cinematic recap, it just takes you into a, a more grandiose, magisterial, you know, movie setting of, wow, you know, I didn't see that during the game. Yeah, and they're you using know? prime, I mean, we're, we're guessing here, but it yeah. seems like they're using prime lenses, something yeah. that gives you a really good depth of field. Definitely. So really 100%. nerdy stuff. Essentially, that means like they can't kind of zoom in and out and stuff. They yeah, basically set focus. set focus, but it gives you this amazing kind of like, I'm focused only on yeah, Connor yeah. right now. So everything behind you is blurred out. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a very, like they're using some stuff that isn't, like you can't, if you just kind of took the game footage, the yeah. game footage is there to show everything. So they're kind of missing some of that yeah. stuff. Yeah, and just to um, add one more thing, I think there's a big difference between a highlight reel and a cinematic recap yeah. for that exact point. Because you can take game footage, and you can take you know a fan's cell phone or whatnot and make that into a, look at these cool top 10 plays that happened at this game. But when you add the cinematic um, techniques, when you're saying, I want to st tell a story here, right. you know? We went into this game, uh, a blank slate at the end this happens how do i tell that through this thing that already happened that you can't dictate it's not a movie i didn't say all right uh, cut we'll do that again can you tackle him a little higher you know that didn't happen it's live um well the nfl is scripted <laughs> well, yeah, you know, that? that's our next podcast but uh <laughs> but no i mean that is a point of of somebody sat down and said all right i watched this thing that happened i'm gonna make this into a a, a cinematic style uh retelling of the same game i think what uh, you just said was huge it, it it isn't a highlight reel and i, I yeah. think that's the big thing that i uh, the, you saying it kind of helped me have an aha moment of like, it is something to think about because it isn't, I mean, it, we, we talk about conferences, right? We go to yeah. conferences a lot. A lot of times you're kind of creating a highlight reel, but yeah. like, is that there's a way to kind of do behind the scenes, the stuff where you can kind of have the look, the feel, the, the sounds, the experience that was conferences. Conferences are fun. They're energetic. There's yeah. things going on. Show floor. Show. There's a uh, lot of little... energy, a lot of that type of stuff that you can kind of try to capture a little bit. I think especially some of the more kind of theater in the round things we do, yeah. it's an interesting way to like, again, back to you're talking about the audio. Like how do you oh, capture yeah. the, the kind of like surprise that's in the crowd, the stuff where people, mm -hmm. when a presenter talks about something that like the crowd's like, oh wow, like you mm -hmm. hear that, like that stuff you can kind of capture and really help hit a point further than just like, a, hey, this person talked about this and mm -hmm. you're seeing a slide. Like yeah. how do you kind of create this sort of like story using the different elements that yeah. are video? And it's also showing what we don't see, whether you're an attendee, in person, I'm thinking a conference or, yeah. or a theater in the round, um, or virtual. I mean, we harp on virtual stuff and how awesome it is, but there's a lot of stuff that the virtual people don't see. Yeah. Um, you could be in the room and something could happen over here, but if the camera's only showing this, like the stage, you're not going to know. And that's why a lot of time, let's say for Q&A, we're like, get the person on the mic because <laughs> right, the people right. can't hear. <laughs> yeah. um, I think a cinematic recap or something like that is an opportunity to say, listen, this is a, we're giving you a little behind the scene, a little peek behind the curtain. This is what happened maybe literally behind uh, you know, a stage if it is an event or, um, you know, you didn't see this because you were in this side of the thing the whole, you know, couple days. This is what you missed and this is a cooler angle. Uh, yeah. it's, it's just a really cool opportunity to show off that kind of less seen stuff. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, I think it's it just looks so fun to, to be a part of though. <laughs> I think it's just like when you you really get the, the emotion um, and you somehow capture that on, on the video right, and, and right. you really get a feel um, and you're able to kind of transport the audience more so into the right. environment that it was actually being, uh, you know, uh, recorded in. It, it's, uh, it is. It's, I think you, you hit the nail on the head when you were called it magical earlier. Like yeah. it, it creates a whole different feeling uh, than anything else that you uh, could make. So that absolutely. Yeah. And, and it's not a highlight reel, like you said. I, I think. Not a highlight reel. Not a highlight reel. 100% I couldn't agree more. Well, I love how you said it's it helps it's a fun way to show something you were a part of yeah. which yeah. i think is like a cool thing too with like a highlight reel especially for like again we're hitting conferences and events and stuff like that but like that is part of the fun like remembering like oh yeah that was so cool mm -hmm. i got to experience that or like my angle of that was different i didn't get to see that yeah exactly yeah. so like you're saying like using angles getting to really help i mean your audience keep your raving fans yeah oh my gosh i went to this gala it was so cool all this stuff and like check out this awesome video mm -hmm. that's showing like the behind the scenes that went into this stuff and again from 
the the organizer's perspective it's just another great touch another reminder yeah. of like hey we got this coming up like pay attention like those little things um i i think are important i think those are really cool ways and like like i always say steal from everyone right yeah, so exactly. like college football is doing this because a they're trying to solicit donors to give money to the program which is kind of a cool thing about college football and college sports in general is there's doning donating and stuff and like this is a way that you're kind of keeping your people engaged and yeah. you're giving them access to a content that like they want they're really interested in i mean it's pretty pretty impressive yeah yeah i mean it makes me a fan and of them and i've never you know i've you have actively for? rooted again. <laughs> At the end of the season, you every I think LSU's got it this time. I yeah. think Southern Miss has got it this time. You, every once in a while I, I change my mind. But yeah. Every once in a while, yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, definitely. It it is uh it is uh definitely allows you to to reach audience you normally wouldn't have too. Yeah, I think on top of that. Very shareable. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what I was gonna say is is kind of my last point would be it, it just as marissa always says it lets the event continue yeah. the, you know the lights shut off and the doors close and people go home don't let it end there you have a lot of content whether it's captured what the people saw or not make that into something and share it throughout the year for your next conference look how much fun we had back in 2023 2024 is going to be even better right you know? right, right. just keep Absolutely. it going it remind them and then i yeah. think the last point i want to hit on is just the length mm -hmm. i always hear you always hear like oh it's got to be too long too long who's going to look at this too long too long <laughs> i think the thing that we always say here is it's as long as it needs to be as short as it can be right yep. so you're telling a story there like could you technically tell the the game story within two minutes yeah you could easily yeah. boil it down to these little things but you miss kind of that the ebbs and flows the valleys yep. of story and I, I think that's one thing to kind of keep in mind when you're doing something cinematic right it doesn't need to be set time it really isn't something especially i mean you got to do a bunch of them you got to continue doing them um the first shot matters the way you're showing the stuff matters yeah. that's going to keep people's attention if they're already looking at the time and like i didn't want to watch this yeah. like they're probably going away <laughs> but like it is something to kind of think about like if you have the right story you can take your time to tell it you don't need to be 90 seconds because no one's going to watch this socially 100 percent. yeah i mean if you can just get the like you're saying first shot matters but also first 30 seconds if you can get them oh man i remember this game i remember right. this event um like you're saying if it looks good and the story is there and it's a real authentic story it'll keep them for however long and you're like oh my god time flies i've already watched six minutes of this video when i only would rather watch a 90 second you wouldn't even know right yeah it gives you the exact same feel yeah i, I feel just as satisfied watching uh you know the 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 90 second uh real brief but uh, you know you just get so much more out of that that nine minute video and you just feel so much more attached to the program or the, the conference, whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you just got a lot enough time to tell the full story. Yeah. If it's there to be told, like it should be told. All right, fellas, I think that's all we really had. I mean, listen, if you want to do a cinematic recap with us, let us know. We could be your guy. Uh, but yeah, for Connor, for Jake, I'm Kyle McNaught. Thanks for listening or watching uh, Create Smarter Podcast. See you later. Thank you.